following the politics of Glasnost, initiated by Mikhail Gorbachev, civil unrest and ethnic strife grew in various regions of the Soviet Union, including Nagorno-Karabakh, an autonomous region of the Azerbaijan SSR. The disturbances in Azerbaijan, in response to Moscow's indifference to already heated conflict, resulted in calls for independence and secession, which culminated in Black January in Baku. Later in 1990, the Supreme Council of the Azerbaijan SSR dropped the word Soviet Socialist from the title, adopted the Declaration of Sovereignty of the Azerbaijan Republic and restored flag of the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic as the state flag. On October 18, 1991, the Supreme Council of Azerbaijan adopted a Declaration of Independence which was affirmed by a nationwide referendum in December 1991, when the Soviet Union was officially dissolved. The early years of independence were overshadowed by the Nagorno-Karabakh War with the ethnic Armenian majority of Nagorno-Karabakh backed by Armenia. By the end of hostilities in 1994, Armenians controlled up to 14-16% of Azerbaijani territory, including Nagorno-Karabakh itself. During the war many atrocities were committed including the massacre at Malibuli and Gushkular, the Garadakli, Agdaban and the Kojali massacres. Furthermore an estimated 30,000 people had been killed and more than a million people had been displaced. Four United Nations Security Council resolutions, 822, 853, 874, and 884, demand for the immediate withdrawal of all Armenian forces from all occupied territories of Azerbaijan. Many Russians and Armenians left Azerbaijan during the 1990s. According to the 1970 census, there were 510,000 ethnic Russians and 484,000 Armenians in Azerbaijan. In 1993, Democratically elected President Abulfaz El Chibi was overthrown by a military insurrection led by Colonel Surat Husinov, which resulted in the rise to power of the former leader of Soviet Azerbaijan, Haydar Aliyev. In 1994, Surat Husinov, by that time a prime minister, attempted another military coup against Haydar Aliyev, but Husinov was arrested and charged with treason. A year later, in 1995, Another coup was attempted against Aliyev, this time by the commander of the OMON special unit, Ravshan Javadov. The coup was averted, resulting in the killing of the latter and disbanding of Azerbaijan's OMON units. At the same time, the country was tainted by rampant corruption in the governing bureaucracy. In October 1998, Aliyev was re-elected for a second term. Despite the much improved economy, particularly with the exploitations of Azerichira Gunchli oil field and Shah Dainese gas field, Aliyev's presidency was criticized due to suspected vote fraud and corruption. Ilham Aliyev, the son of Haydar Aliyev, assumed as the chairman of the new Azerbaijan party as well as the office of presidency when his father passed away in 2003. He was re-elected to a third term as president in October 2013. He then launched a crackdown on opposition elements. In November, he put two prominent opponents on trial for inciting riots ten months earlier, Ilgar Mamadov, the chairman of the opposition Republican Alternative, Real, and Ilgar Mamadov, the deputy chairman of the new Equality Party, Musavat. In addition the dissident Islamic theologian Tali Bajirzada was sentenced to two years imprisonment. The opposition newspaper Azadik was closed down. Three men were sentenced to life in prison on charges of plotting attacks in Baku in a conspiracy with Iran.